Hydration. Let's talk about hydration for runners. I want to give you guys some really basic general guidelines as to how you should drink during your runs, after your runs, how much should you drink, how often should you drink, what should you drink, just, just some general guidelines in terms of hydration strategies for the average runner. Let's get into it. All right, so obviously hydration is a really complex subject. There are a lot of different variables to consider. You know, how long are you running? Are you running for one hour or 10 hours? Are you running in the heat or is it a cool day? Uh, are you running really hard or are you taking it easy? Uh, it depends on your sweat rate. These things are important to consider, but we're not gonna get into those nitty gritty details today. I wanna keep this video a quick, informative video to the average runner with some just, some just some general guidelines as to how to drink during your runs. First of all, what to drink? Well, this one is simple. Water is the best drink. Water is the best uh, substance. This, essentially, water is what you need, right? Hydration is about water. Uh, but, of course, there are different things that affect how you absorb that water. Uh, which is, is linked with sodium content and uh, uh, electrolytes and the carbohydrate content if you're also consuming carbohydrates. So this is where it gets complex. This is what we're going to ignore for this simple video today. Generally speaking, water will do the trick. Unless you're running for a really, really long time and sweating a lot, then you probably want to include some salt in your water. Okay. But generally speaking, for a typical, you know, short run or normal run, water will be fine. If, now, when should you drink? Well, if you're just out for a short run, say half an hour, and it's not abnormally warm, you're probably not gonna need to drink. Well, you don't need to drink anything. It's just the hassle bringing it with you with the hydration belt and everything. It's not really that important. You can wait uh, till after your run in terms of rehydrating. If you're out for longer than half an hour though, especially if you're out for longer than an hour, or if it's very hot and you're out for 45 minutes, for example. So let's, let's call these runs longer runs, more than half an hour. Then you can start thinking about bringing along some water and, and taking it in during your run. Uh, they typically say that performance starts to decrease when you reach about 2% dehydration, right? And the main cause of dehydration during running is sweating, okay? So finding your sweat rate might be a good idea and very simply put, the best way to do it is just weigh yourself naked before you go for a run and then weigh yourself naked after you go for a run and of course account for things like did you pee in the meantime because that's going to decrease your weight, did you take in any fluids that's going to increase your weight and then make the calculation and then you figure out your pre and post run weight and this will tell you how much weight you lost during your one hour run for example and that way you can calculate okay if you lost a kilo then you need to take in another you take need to take in a liter of water to correct for that loss and as i said in the intro it gets way more complex than that there are a lot of other things to consider in this equation but generally speaking that's something to aim for just just covering your losses in terms of weight loss during the run now even though you might have lost more than a liter of water during a hot run on, in the summer there is a limit to how much water you can empty out of your stomach in an hour and not only that but how much water you can absorb in your intestines okay so generally speaking scientific studies tend to show that the most successful sort of uh, water intake for most people is somewhere between 400 milliliters and 800 milliliters per hour Okay, so if we just take this the middle way, we can say that if you take in 600 milliliters of water per hour, that's 100 milliliters every 10 minutes, that's probably pretty good, right? That's not going to be an excessive amount, likely. And hydration typically seems to be more effective when done at shorter intervals. So doing it every 10 minutes is better than doing it every half an hour, say. Every hour, 600 milliliters, you do it the way you prefer. And then, of course, uh, carbohydrate intake will affect your absorption of the water. Same with electrolytes, etc. So that's a topic for another video. But generally speaking, taking in some water is a good idea. Some people will say 
that you know I go for two hours running and I don't take in any water it's not necessary I would argue that those people would perform better if they took some water on board during the run and there's no evidence that suggests that you get better at dealing with dehydration okay like the training effect is very clear with all types of stresses uh, in the body especially this is what training is you stress one system and it adapts and gets better at dealing with that stress that's what training is but being dehydrated there's no function in the body that makes you better at being dehydrated okay so there's no point in trying to teach the body how to be dehydrated you're better off just staying hydrated at all times and every single time the more dehydrated you get the worse you perform okay and you're getting a less of a training benefit because you're struggling to maintain certain uh, functions in the body due to a lower hydration level which means you're going to use a hydration belt or a backpack with a hydration bladder etc you can check out my review of the nathan mercury uh, drinking belt i'll put a link to it here after your run you want to rehydrate further probably it depends on how much sweat you lost which depends on your sweat rate it depends on how much you drunk during your run in other words you drink 600 milliliters during your run and then afterwards depending on how much you lost you might have another 600 milliliters or you might have a liter even or half a liter or almost nothing it really depends and then also depends on what you're going to eat afterwards i typically have a banana smoothie and I blend in some water in that smoothie as well so there's some water there and without getting too complex uh, let's just say 600 milliliters during a run most of the time for most people and uh, per hour and then uh, a little bit of water or a lot after your run depending on your thirst and depending on your sweat rate which you've measured by weighing yourself before and after but thirst is a really good indicator generally not so much during exercise but certainly afterwards and in the hours post run you know notice if you how you're feeling if you're feeling thirsty have some more water and notice your urine color and output as well if you're not peeing for like two hours after your run that's a sign you are kind of dehydrated and if your pee is like super concentrated yellow also a kind of bad signs in, in terms of your hydration so uh, listen to your body uh, monitor these uh, different signals, your urine color, your urine output, uh, your weight before and after the run, and you should be able to find a pretty good uh, sort of strategy that suits you in terms of hydration. Anyway, if you have any questions, if this seems unclear, anything like that, go to our Facebook page at uh, The Lone Trail on Facebook, The Lone Trail. There's a link in the description where you can uh, send me a message, ask me a question. Anything you want to know about hydration, I'd be happy to help you out discussing it. We could also do a coaching session even if you're interested in that. It's worth mentioning just in here that dehydration affects performance negatively, but there are no, there's not that many dangers involved in being dehydrated, okay? You're going to perform worse, you're going to be slow. Uh, if it's very warm, you might get into some heat stroke situations if you're very dehydrated. Um, but you might also get into those those even when you are hydrated so uh, it's not directly re related to hydration so there's no real dangers in being dehydrated but there are dangers in drinking too much water okay you can get something called hyponatremia which means that you're diluting your blood sodium levels essentially so you do not want to over drink okay so if you're like, oh, you know, I need, I'm gonna drink way more than 600 milliliters per hour, you wanna be careful with that. You wanna be sure you know what you're doing uh, because there are dangers associated with drinking too much. But if you're drinking, as I said, 400 milliliters per hour, 500, even maybe 600, or even up to 800 milliliters per hour in normal conditions, that's not gonna be very likely to cause hyponatremia. Uh, just wanted to sort of throw that in there because that's the only danger associated with uh, drinking during uh, running. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.